For staff working in care homes for older people, excellence is about getting to know people who live in the home as an individual, understanding and being responsive to the things that are important to them. Excellent care homes are places where people using services have choice and control, build good relationships and spend their time enjoyably. In this film we brought together a panel of experts, including people who use services to discuss what excellence means in a supported living setting. First, let's meet the panel. Anne Netton is a professor of social welfare who helped define excellence for the Social Care Institute for Excellence. Julie Beadle Brown is a reader in intellectual and development disability at the University of Kent. Dorothy Runnicles uses social care services and is a campaigner for older people. The panel will be looking at how staff deliver good care and encourage activities at Wood Grange, a residential care home for older people and those with dementia. At Wood Grange, staff work on sharing meaningful one-to-one -one time with residents. Been with the Red Cross, weren't you? Yes, you were, weren't you? Lots of different things, weren't you? Oh yes, I, I, I was active. You were very active. How would you like to be? Under the leaf tree with Under the deep blue sea. With the bushes with me. Keep going, Jeff. So keep singing. How would you like to be? One-to-one -one moments here are called butterfly moments. Um, which we always class as like a butterfly flits from flower to flower. Us as working here do that, and that is from domestics, from management. What's that a picture of? No, man, me on the flight, flight deck of the carrier. And what did you have to do? Go on, tell me. What did you have to do? What was your job? Uh, I was a mechanic. A mechanic? You clever yeah. man. You will see no one walk by a resident just because they're sat quiet in a chair doesn't mean they're ignored. It is a very strict thing here that no one is ignored. We all join in, do things, we all join in and, and help out and the residents just love everybody. Everybody that works here, you can see that with them. The panel discusses the importance of good relationships with all staff. I think this idea of butterfly moments, if it's sustained, sounds lovely, that idea that you just make that little bit of an engagement. Again, not too demanding of people, but actually just sort of brings them out of themselves a bit. Mm. Yeah, understanding goes both ways. So the carer learns as well as the person whose mm. memory is being triggered. Um, but I, I, I think that the activities organiser was right. You have to involve lots of people. Mm. We saw some wonderful examples of rapport and, and relationships there um, and I think in that setting I would like to believe that those go across other times um, across personal care tasks across all feeding tasks etc not just in the activity sessions um, and that's what you you are you're aiming for one example of excellence is turning a problem into an opportunity with creative thinking one nice nice little story when I started this job was um, we had a gentleman on our memory lane who fell in love with his wife again when she visited and he kept asking her repeatedly to, to marry him and of course she tried to get him to say they'd been married about 60 years but he just didn't um, take that on board so what we thought would be a nice thing we've got the, the local vicar to come in and give them a blessing um, so that he thought that they were getting married again and after that he never did ask her again so he obviously accepted the fact that they got married which was lovely everybody was sort of there we had a cake and drinks and that so that was that was a lovely moment that was a special little moment i think um for both of them for both of them the panel discussed the benefits of a creative approach. I think that was one of the things that was really nice was turning something that could have been seen as a problem mm -hmm. into a, a, a really positive experience for all concerned. I imagine that went wider than just the individuals concerned. You'd have, you could imagine the whole home would have rejoiced in that. Mm -hmm. And it could have been seen as a persistent problem that had to be dealt with, but instead they turned it into something really mm -hmm. positive, which was... 
Mm. And, it, and it wasn't in the long run a very res, you know re resource intensive no. solution. I mean, exactly. it was a day the cost of a cake. You know that creativity, isn't it, that we, and, we and, talked about and a, and a very positive illustration of a worker understanding how you respond to people who've lost a part of their memory but have other parts of their memory still very alert, yes. which give them pleasure. Yeah. And it's part of what, what people's lives consist of, and mm. it's part of anniversaries, weddings, parties, birthdays, and so on, mm. um, are part of what we call our activities and so on. And so that's, it's real activity, it's meaningful. Careful assessment and planning by staff helps to develop a good picture of each individual who comes to live in the home. When somebody gets uh, admitted to us, um, we need to get to know them as much as we possibly can. And that's not just purely around the medical side of things, that's about them as a person. What have they done as a career? What have they done in their life? So we can get a picture of that person. And then based on that, we can identify what is important to them and what activities they will enjoy doing. It would be too easy for somebody to come in and say, this, this is a resident who is in room 24 um, and they're suffering with Alzheimer's disease. We don't work like that, you know. This, this is a, a person who's got a name, has got a family, has got a life, and we treat them in that way. At Woodgranger's specialised dementia unit, Memory Lane, they try to use the resident's personal experience to create relevant activities. On our Memory Lane unit, activities are 24-7. If anyone gets up in the night and wants to, to do something, it's, they, they'll do it. We try to do a lot of activities that could bring back memories, um, nostalgic me um, activities, I think. The funny story is one day I thought I'll do shoe cleaning and I thought the, the gentleman would love that because of the forces and all this, they'll clean their shoes and all this. But I haven't got any black shoes, men's shoes. So I've sort of quite secretly bought a pair of my husband's in, black leather shoes, um, which was fine. This gentleman cleaned them, lovely, you could see your face in them. But unfortunately, he wouldn't give me them back. He thought they were his. So I had to own up to my husband when he wanted his shoes where they were. <laughs> I said, I think there's someone walking around with them on memory lane at work. This clip illustrates the point that, that we were talking about on the last one, or the, the, the one, the butterfly moments mm -hmm. um, clip, um, about um, the, the, you know, what she's clearly said here is that the activities are 24-7. Mm. Um, you know, they, these, these people um, on this unit can, can get up and staff will support them to be able to engage in, in, in activities. Mm. That was what struck me particularly as well, this 24-7. I thought that was excellent. Yes. That's very rare, for I think, for activities, mm. and I think it's a, That's right. a really the way to go. A meaningful activity can be really meaningful in terms of contributing to the work of the of the of the home or mm. the uh, unit or the clinic or mm. the day centre, you know, really helping and taking some responsibility which is meaningful in terms of the functioning. Having a responsibility. Can be, it's yeah. a whole range of possibilities, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Each month, Woodgrange holds a themed day to get residents and their families enjoying activities together. Today, it's the home's Christmas party. For activities coordinator Sandra Baker, it's a big part of building relationships with residents and their families. Today we have Music for Health coming in, which is a real big favourite of Woodgrange. Lots of action, lots of laughing music, playing music and instruments, dancing, singing, everything that we're good at here, or we like to think we are, we're good at. But, um, but so these things I like, we like to encourage families to take part in so that we're all together. And it's nice for everybody else as well. Everybody else sees other, other people's families and it's a talking thing for them. Then they'll talk about it and that. Fabulous! For the residents, activities make a huge difference to their quality of life. Jeannie remembers a care home she lived in previously. There was hardly any activities. After meals, people went back to their rooms. Didn't like that, didn't like that. Everybody back to the rooms after the meal. There was no getting together. But Jeannie feels much more happy with the activities on offer at Wood Grange. When we have visitors come in, 
people to entertain us. They bring their music and they, they dance and the people who can get up and dance. And there's a good old, you know, sing song. And it's really nice, enjoyable. We really enjoy it. It keeps us alive. It really does. You don't see many sleeping when we've got entertainment. I'm very happy here. We love the staff. They all love us. They treat us as if we're their grandmas, like they treat their own. And they really are very lovable. And it just really makes you feel good. If we were thinking about what makes excellence in, in, in kind of social care um, settings, one of the things would be that, that, that staff look at the people that they're supporting and, and really think, well, if this was my grandmother, if it was my mother, if it was me, how would I be feeling yeah. if, if I was doing this? You know, if, yeah. if I was sitting staring at the wall, how would I feel? You get that real sense of, of, of an engagement across the generations and involving the family so they feel part of what's going on in their mm. homes and they can get the benefits as well. The panel has been encouraged by the examples they've seen. These social care needs will remain with us and we have an ageing population, we're living longer. Mm. And I think that not to see older people as a burden, but a resource, not to mm. see older people as excluded, but included, uh, will actually help the solutions to the problems that currently are over, mm. overwhelmingly there. Residential care um, doesn't mean treating people the same. The diversity of the way, the, the individualised levels of care that people are getting, mm. apparently in, if you like, an institutional setting, as in they were all in residential settings, but actually what was happening for people was very different and dependent on themselves, their histories and what, was, what they brought and what their needs were. I think that one of the, the key things in, in achieving excellence in, in, um, in residential care is that we need to focus on the relationships, the relationships between staff um, and the, the people that they are supporting in whatever environment that mm. might be in. That individualised care which can happen in, is, is, is illustrative of the excellence that can happen in care homes, in residential care. <laughs>